All right, I have three samples here of different widths of bindings. And again, this is all straight of grain, cheap, stiff fabric um, for your practice piece. This is the best for you to learn on. This binding's cut at two and a quarter. I've got three inches here, and I've got almost five, in five inches here. Um, the seam allowance, if you can notice, is a little narrower, a little bit wider, and much wider here. My seam allowance for the two and a quarter is a quarter of an inch. My seam allowance for the three inches is a scant three eighths. That means a little bit under three eighths of an inch. And this is at a five eighths inch seam allowance. When I sew the binding on, the goal is when I fold this back over and fill that batting right to the edge, this width, if I'm hand binding, would be exactly the same on the back as it would be on the front. And you can see here, that's, that's what we're looking for. That width should be about the same as this width. When we look over here, it should be about the same as this width for hand binding. For stitching in the ditch, you actually need a little bit more binding on the back to cover up that seam so that this is a little bit wider on the back than it is on the front. That way we can stitch in the ditch on the front and catch the binding on the back. I mentioned the three inches and did a scant three eighths inch seam allowance. That's for stitching in the ditch. If you were gonna hand bind, you could actually do three eighths of an inch or scant over three eighths of an inch if you were gonna hand bind. So stitching in the ditch requires a little bit more binding on the back. So you have your seam allowance, sew that down. Now that's the first tip. The second thing is with the zip bind tool, adjusting this for the width of your binding. Now here's my zip bind tool. You'll notice I've got this screw placed a little bit off of the edge for the seam allowance that I have here. The, this is my uh, slanted side, what I call the groove side, that other side that's flat. If you'll notice where that screw is, it's a little bit further out. We don't ever care about the back side, that flat side. That actually is on the front of your piece. But this piece, the piece that's angled, that's the screw that you always refer to. Take a look at the difference between that screw placement, this screw placement, it's a little bit further out, and then the third one, this is much further out. This is for my 5 8 inch here, that almost five inches of seam allowance or of binding. This is for my three inches and this is for my two and a quarter. There's not a whole lot of difference between these two, but that makes all the difference as to whether I'll be successful or not with this.